Today, it's me, you, in this video, and this awesome green and brown tiger stripe chair. Isn't that awesome? All right, enough corniness, okay. So today is like an exercise, but it's also a rhythm, okay? And I want you to practice this to a metronome, and you're gonna practice it on both hands for at least uh, five minutes each, okay? So the first way you're gonna do it is just like this, all right? I'll tilt mine a little bit. Here's my left hand, my right hand, okay? I'll start with my left first on the bass. Now, this is gonna be four, four time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what we're gonna do with the right hand is we're gonna, on every second beat and every fourth beat, that's two and four, we're gonna play a snare. One, two, three, four. One, two, notice I'm not like this. Okay, I'm just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You do that for about four, do that eight times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? That's what you're going to work on. Now, you do it very slow. About 100 beats a minute. That's too slow. Put it up to about 110. See if you can do that. Okay? Um, if, as you get better at it, what I want you to focus on then is taking your hand. Now, watch. I'm going to play fingertips. This is why we never stop practicing this. Remember that? Or... right because what we're going to do now is play fingertips with the hand that's playing the bass notes on every and one and two and just like this remember we're just doing this now watch i'm sorry so it's like this so I'll do it real slow. Okay? One and two and three and four and. You see that? So if you practice that really slow, it's. Right? One and. What's going to happen next? Two. Same time. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Play it with me. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and switch hands. One, and two, and three. Three and four and one and two and three and four and just do that to a metronome about 110 beats a minute boop 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 and then you're just gonna keep doing that about four times so it'll be like this So you got to do it really slow if you're going to do it to switch. So what we'll do is just say two minutes on one hand without switching. Just keep doing it. Don't even worry about switching. Just go. Okay, so both ways. Without this, just like this. You got a song like Wake With Men. Wait. Wait with men. Wait with men. This is why that in between is good because now it's not as plain. Okay? So now, that's what you're going to work on. The second thing is an exercise. Two minutes each hand. You're just going to play one hand at a time on the second beat and the fourth beat. Turn your metronome on, 
set it to a comfortable rhythm. Put one of your hands on your, your, your leg there. Take the other hand. One, two, boop, 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 boop. You're going to do that about four times. One, two, three, four. Just playing the two and the four. Okay? One, two, three, four. Now here's the tricky part. Now after that, you're also going to play in the upbeat right after the two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or you can count like this. One and two and. Play on the and. Okay? One and two and three and four. And switch. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And. Right? Now, if you're playing that groove. One, two, Three. Totally different rhythm now. Or let's play it. One. My bad. You get the picture, right? If you can master that every now and then, you can add that upbeat. But that's what the exercise is for, to strengthen your ability to play on the downbeat. Four, two, three, four. On the numbers. Three, four. And the upbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Up, up, up. Okay? You can go in between them. Now, if you can switch... You can gain independence. The reason I'm able to play a beat like that or anything else is because I'm playing also on the upbeats. Okay? I'm playing quicker notes, 16th notes, and all that other stuff we talked about. Don't worry about that. But I'm playing faster notes on the upbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Got it? So, what two things are you going to work on? You're going to work on Remember to add a variation. Once you get good at this, you get comfortable, you start getting more comfortable. It's all on the on the bass. Right? And then one, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? You practice that for a couple minutes. Okay? And then you work on your upbeats. One, two, three, four. Got it? Very important. Good coordination exercise. Be able to work on the downbeats as well as the upbeats. Okay? So this is what I, how I want you to structure your practice so you can have some structure. All right? Don't be too hard on yourself, though, when you play. Have some time where you just jam on your drum to a song that you like. Improvise, make up stuff, and have your own feeling on the drum and expression. It's going to come into play. you got to give yourself that, too. But So you're going... Write, write down a piece of paper before you start practicing. You're going to say, I'm going to break up my lesson in four ways. I'm going to do a warm-up. Then I'm going to work on some technique stuff. Okay? Then I'm going to work on rhythms, the grooves that we've been working on and learning. Then I'm going to have time for my jam. Warm-up, technique, grooves, jam. Got it? That's a good way to break up your, your a lesson. So if you have 30 minutes... You can go 5, 10, or you can go, uh, yeah, well, I was thinking if I had three ways and I could do 10 minutes. So if I got 30 minutes, that means I got to break each one down, okay, to 30 minutes. So that's seven and a half minutes for each one. So I got seven and a half, seven and a half, I got 15 minutes for the first two, then the second 15 minutes. So each one will be seven and a half minutes. So seven and a half minute warm up. Start the stopwatch. Look at the timer, whatever it is, 
seven and a half minutes is going, I'm going to work on warming up. And this is how I, how I choose what I'm going to do to warm up. What am I weak at? If my left hand is weak at just doing this, and my left hand gets off, if that's my weak hand, then I might just take half of my whole warm-up time and just work the weak hand. So let's say three and a half minutes or, you know, four, whatever it is, and just work on that weak hand to a metronome, strengthening it, okay? So for you, you pick something that you haven't worked out on and practiced. Go over our sheets that we've been writing down and pick something that you're still working on and pick one good thing and use that one thing to do that whole seven and a half minutes of warming up, okay? And remember to use a balanced time of left hand and right hand, okay? So that's, so that's how you practice. You, you practice by picking things that you're going to use in a certain amount of time. And that way you can monitor how good you've been doing, okay? And then you pay attention to what beats per minute you've been practicing them on, okay? So then your, your technique could be anything. It could be this, which is I think you should continue to do, or a tone exercise. Snare, snare, bass, bass, snare, snare, bass, bass, right? Getting, looking, use a mirror, monitor yourself, use your phone, videotape yourself, watch yourself later, making sure you have good posture, making sure your hands are like this, okay? So then you pick a groove, pick that week's groove exercise that we're going over, work that for the next seven and a half minutes, right? Then you get to the last part. Remember, we said four parts, warm-up, groove, I mean, warm-up, technique, groove, jamming, right? Then you get to the part where you're working on your groove. You pick that groove. Then the last part, turn on a song and just have fun. Play everything you've been trying to do. Try to play along with the song, okay? Now, if you have more than 30 minutes, guess what? You do the same thing. You just apply more time to each one of those four things.